that glam lighting though. <laughs> Not even because I'm all sweaty and disgusting. Hey you guys, it's Sarah here and I'm making a little bit of a snoop vloggy vlog. A little bit of a nighttime vlog type of situation. You know, everyone thinks, Oh Sarah, your life seems so exciting. You must have so many friends and go to so many parties and, and events. Mm, girl, that's the furthest thing from the truth. You know what, actually, I found out that I've been working every single day this summer, okay? So you think, oh, it's summertime, I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna chill. But you know, I've been doing what I can with my spare time. So I thought I'd just show you guys one of my more relaxed nights. I actually went to the art store today and I'll show you a few of the things that I bought because I am just beginning to prep myself for university applications or college as you guys call it in America. I know most of you are American, so yeah, I gotta put together um, you know, some pieces to submit for my portfolio. So today I went to the art store, got a bunch of stuff. I'll show it to you now. I got like a bunch of different papers and like illustration board. I got bulk packs of canvases. That's what I recommend most. If you're looking to buy canvases and you are looking to produce a lot of work, your best value is to buy in bulk because it's so much cheaper. Also to make your own canvases, it's a little bit of a process, but once you learn, I swear to God, it's so worth it. You just get yourself a roll of canvas. You get some wood frames. These canvases right here, I built myself with my own two two hands and then i got some bigger canvases over here i just re-upped on some acrylic paints and these are just some basic colors for mixing burnt sienna burnt um cadmium yellow crimson and and phthalo blue <laughs> phthalo cyanine blue oh how fancy i got a big tub of black paint sorry that i'm talking kind of quiet everyone in my house is asleep and i'm a young rascal who stays up all night woo young wild and free living woo this one's not a great quality watercolor palette but i just like it for like little art journaling or like you know just small sketches um i got this for free free jar woohoo it's just like a little sketchbook for like you know cool textured and colored paper for using it's, it's a good like mid-tone paper for drawing with a dark tone for your shadows and a white tone for your highlights. Um, I think it's like, here I'll show you, I'll do a test page because I love you guys. You got your highlights there. You got your shadows there and you can use the rest of this paper as the mid-tone. It's a pretty cool technique, I like to do that. Um, I got a palette knife because my parents threw out my last one because they thought it was a weapon. Um, got some new India ink, so if you need that stick and poke, hit me up. Just kidding. Don't ever do something like this. Bad choice. And this next thing I'm so excited about. I got myself a little oil paint set. And I've never ever painted with oil paints before. Um, so actually the main point of tonight's vlog was to show you guys my first time painting with oils. And it's like really different than acrylic. It takes so much longer to dry, so it's very wet and you it's very... um. It's very movable and blendable, which which is like my thing. Like the, the one thing I hate about acrylics is that it dries so fast and I always love to blend, blend, blend. So I'm really hoping that I like fall in love with oils because I've never tried them before. You need this kind of like solvent thing to clean the brushes and to use this like water to dilute the paint because um, you know, regular water doesn't work because oil and water don't mix, you know? But a funny thing is, <laughs> This is my this was my tea that I was drinking this morning and this is like a bottle of literal poison so it's like if I slip up and drink this one by accident rest in peace sermons I have this huge laundry bin of like art you know I have a bunch of stuff that I kind of recovered from my closet and I want to hang it up because like look how blank my walls are. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up my space right now so nothing gets in the way too much. Um, I'm gonna paint a little bit and then I think I'm gonna head off to bed. But first, I'm gonna make myself some food because your girl's hungry. Should I make noodles? I think I'm gonna make noodles. This is my avocado. It's really delicious. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna boil the peas and the noodles together because number one, I'm lazy, and number two, they both take like five minutes to boil, so like, they'll be done at the same time. 
Easy peasy, killed two birds with one stone. Killing it out here in the kitchen, cooking with Sarah Ho. We are out here stunting on them hoes. You guys, even raw peas are just so delicious. And then I think I'm gonna add some of this fake orange chicken on top. I'm just gonna try and, you know, saute them. <laughs> and I have the little sauce packet just defrosting in here because you guys, I am so lazy. And would you look at that, the noodles are already done. So this is all drained out, and once these are all done, I'm just gonna throw them all in. Add in my carrots and other stuff, and we're good to go. You guys, I'm not even kidding. These things are so good. The taste and texture of them is like so accurate to chicken. It's terrifying. Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at me go. But like, damn. I need a pretty girl to let me cook for her. I could be such a good wife. Mmm, yes. I made way too much for myself, so it's like, where's Bay at? Oh wait, she's right there. And then of course, I'm gonna garnish her off with my favorite little vegetable plant herb in the world, cilantro. I put that ish on everything. Favorite thing in the whole wide world. Like, you could literally give me a pile of shit, and if you garnished it with cilantro, I'd eat it. It's a masterpiece, it's so good. And Taken it literally took me less than 10 minutes to make, so I don't understand people who hit me with that excuse of like, vegan's too expensive, vegan's too much work. Like, um, Robert, sorry, that steak you just bought cost you $57, and it took you four days to marinate and barbecue to perfection, so what are you saying? <laughs> I'm shady, I'm gonna shut up and eat my freaking noodles. Good night. Okay, wow. This was my very, very first attempt at oil painting and I did this little baby peach and I'm like so in love with oil paint. I, I can get the textures in there, I can get the layers down and I am so freaking in love with it. From now on, I literally wanna call myself an oil painter because like, ah! But yeah, wow, I am obsessed. I used these Daler Rowney Taylor Roney, little set of oil paints. And I also bought these two Van Gogh oil paints in black and cerulean blue. Just call me your oil paint princess. 